guys. There's kind of a weird sound or echo in my room, so I want to apologize for like the sound quality right now. This video I want to cover is traveling with your ostomy. And I have for you my bag of things that I take with me on a trip. So this is my carry-on. You definitely want to put everything into a carry-on. And I have everything in a Ziploc bag like this. And I want to show you what I have in here. I have done this whenever I've traveled to Wyoming on some other flights. Uh, the Wyoming trip is actually a camping trip we drove. So this worked very well even for that. I use some Shura Mio products mostly and uh, some of the Coloplast stuff. So I just want to show you what I have in here. Number one, take some plastic bags with you. They, you know, wherever you go might not have you know, bags for you to dispose of everything. So you want to take some plastic bags with you. I have six appliance changes. I'm going to be gone for six days. I'm taking six appliance changes, even though one appliance for me will probably last the whole trip, but I don't want to have to risk not having my appliances with me. So I also have my seals that I'm taking. And yes, I am taking my tiny scissors. These are, you can see on my finger about how long these are. I have to use these to cut this as well as cutting my protective sheets that I have to use. So I have to be able to cut these. I don't want to sit there and open all of these things because then it exposes them, you know, to, it's a medical appliance. We don't want to open it up and just go across the country like that. It's a little weird. So you can take these and I'm taking six of the protective sheets some of my elastic skin barrier stuff, a little bit of medical tape, and I've also in my bag, I have ivory soap to kind of clean everything up. That's in, you know, my toiletries and whatnot. And then um, in order to remove the appliance, I have packed some of my essential oils. I use lemon essential oil to remove my appliance because it's natural. And I before used to have really bad skin reactions to the medical grade adhesive remover. So using the lemon has helped my skin to start to even out. Um, the last thing I wanna show you, and I'm kind of excited to show you guys these. Uh, okay, hang on, declining a call. <laughs> Still recording on my cell phone. So these are the Centura Mia pouches and some of you guys that have been following me, you know that I've been coloring these. I wanna show you some of the colors. This is lime green. This is the navy blue, which I really love the navy blue. And I'm taking these with me. And this one's red. So if you go on my Instagram account, there's a post where I'm giving away eight kits for you guys that use these. Um, instructions are in the comment section on that. And I just want you guys, I just want your feedback. It's, it's a giveaway on eight kits to be able to color your pouches. It does about three. So you'll be able to put that color on about three of your pouches. It's just fun. And I want to know what you guys think about the process and, and how it works. So be sure to go check that out. And like I said, as far as traveling, the best thing to do is to clear your head and to know that it's not that big of a deal and you've got this. Maybe you can find um, your nearest uh, ostomy association in that area that you're going to be landing at and touch base with them beforehand if you are nervous about that. Just go ahead and Google that town, put in ostomy association and see if you can get in touch with somebody. If you're coming to the San Antonio area, you can get in touch with us. We are the South Texas Ostomy Association. We're located here in San Antonio and we'd love to see you guys. So hopefully if you're in the South Texas area, we get to see you. Uh, we have a wonderful group there and they're very supportive. It's maybe, I don't want to give numbers, like 20 to 30 people show up. It's pretty good. So I really enjoy these people. I love them. So I hope to see you guys there and safe travels. Uh, I know Thanksgiving can be like a very stressful time to be traveling and, and having an ostomy is already scary enough. But I, I believe in you guys and I know that you got this just, like I said, clear your head. It'll all be good. Bye loves.